Uh, the approach that Ghana took towards um, bringing telemedicine to the country was in phases. Um, the first phase was a pilot phase, and this was led by the Earth Institute's Millennium Promise, where there was a small pilot in a small district in the Ashanti region. This is the Amansi and West District. Um, the, the pilot ran for about two years, and this was sort of the testing and the validation phase. Once this phase proved to be effective, this is where we entered the scale-up phase. Um, the Ghana Health Service was involved in co-creating the pilot model. Uh, they saw the impact of the pilot model, and this is where the scaling um, from district to region, and then from region to other regions, and then from other regions to national level, this is where this phasing approach happened. So the telemedicine approach in Ghana is different. We, we recognize that there's a myriad of telemedicine initiatives globally, but this one means to be simplistic in its approach in the sense that it connects community health workers with other healthcare providers and medical specialists through a 24-hour teleconsultation center. And they also leverage mobile solutions, which taking into account the high penetration rates of mobile systems, this system can be implemented anywhere. There were many lessons learned that we experienced during this process um, and they range from both a systematic um, area to a more technical perspective. Um, off the top of my head, I think that one of the main issues that we uh, and the lessons that we learned was around sustainable financing. The issue around how would each call be reimbursed, um, who would be the one from which, from which facility would the reimbursement start? Is it the facility that called or the facility that received the call? Um, other issues were, at the beginning, we had a telephone company donate closed user groups, um, similarly SIM cards, and this was great for a pilot phase, but of course this had an expiration date, so we had to think beyond this pilot phase, how do we sustain this type of um, uh, closed user group and SIM cards for each call? Of course, connectivity was also an issue in the pilot area. Um, while it was available, it was also intermittent. So calls would be cut out. Um, and after certain calls, you wouldn't be able to enter the information and upload it onto the cloud. So these, these issues range from very technical and kind of small level to more systematic in terms of financing and sustainability. Some of the recommendations um, to address these learnings that we, the Novartis Foundation, specifically experienced, um, we do address in the toolkit. Um, we do recommend extreme early on engagement with the policymakers and the stakeholders so that these issues around financial sustainability, these issues around connectivity, they are brought to the forefront um, and we do provide some guidance in the toolkit for this. The three most critical elements to scaling a program like telemedicine in Ghana, um, we would say the first critical element would be to keep it simple um, so that the model can be sustainable and scalable. The more complicated you introduce a program, I think it's the more difficult it is to be integrated into the national health system and then turned into policy. The second critical element I would say is the involvement of other sectors. Um, the idea that a health problem can only be solved within the health sector, I think we have to look outside of this mentality and include multiple sectors, looking at the communications industry, the public sector, the private sector, because that's where that collaboration will spring innovation. Um, and thirdly, the third critical element would be that role exactly of digital health. Um, leveraging the role of digital health to reach as many community members, as many patients, as many people as possible, um, and leveraging it naturally. Again, not introducing new elements to the digital health system, but using what you have. For telemedicine specifically, we simply just used mobile phones. We didn't introduce anything new. So the key takeaways of this program is that for any country or stakeholder who wants to implement a telemedicine model should from the get-go really understand and assess the social health and IT structures within place that they need to work with. 
And so with that knowledge, then they can much better understand which partners to engage to ensure that they have the results and outcomes that they wish to have with this telemedicine approach.